Question two in 2023 is this complex number question. The complex number Z1 is shown on the Argon diagram below. Here it is here. Where is it? It's out three and it's down three. So in complex number terms, three minus three I. Three I. So it says plot and label this guy conjugate of z1 which is a mirror through the x-axis you've got to know this the conjugate so that's going to be 3 plus 3i for the conjugate when you know these things they're really easy and then z2 is 5 plus i 5 out 5 up 1 label it z2 it says plot and label z2 and z3 6 minus 2i out 6 down 2 z3 and the conjugate of z1 so you've already got parts 1 and 2 done 10 marks so far out of the 30 10 marks for part 3 as well on its own. Write 4 times z2 minus 5 times z3 in the form a plus bi. So 4 times z2 and z2 is given 5 plus i. So just fill it in. You're not trying to get to the answer too quickly. Minus 5 times z3 which is 6 minus 2i. So you can multiply this out even if you didn't do part a you should be able to do this part four fives are 20 plus four i minus five sixes are 30 and then it'll be plus 10 i because of the minus five by the minus two so bringing the i's together we have 10 of them and we have four of them so we're going to have 14 i and the real number is 20 minus 30 is minus 10 and that's the end of this part for 10 marks so we normally write it the real number first so minus 10 plus 49 now we have the second symbol that they use so they either use the conjugate which we just done or in this case what are modular bars so this is the distance from the origin distance from 0 0 in x-axis y-axis terms and this is just a Pythagoras question which will come in a couple of times into this test so z3 is from above 6 minus 2i so we just just do a little sketch of it 6 minus 2i here means that we've gone out 6 and down two so it's a right angle triangle so we don't need to worry about plus or minuses it's just pythagoras the square root of six squared plus two squared is equal to the square root of 40 which is the square root of four by the square root of 10 so your calculator will give it as two root 10. So that's worth another five marks and then for the final five marks in this complex number question it's only a few rules easy when you know them the complex numbers that four five six and seven are shown below the diagram is the scale tick one box to indicate which of them has the largest modulus so it's just which of them is furthest from the origin and then it's drawn to scale definitely looks like z5 is the furthest from the origin and that's what you have to take here and it does say give a reason for your answer and you just say that it's furthest from the origin <laughs>